It's got the canted tilt, it's got the, the nice thick comfortable recoil pad. Um, length of pull, side to side adjustments, up and down. It's all there. Um, it has four QD points in the back. All right, it's got one here, one here, and then on the other side, but no QD points in the front. So you're gonna have to just be aware of that and order either uh, a set of the weights. If you don't wanna add weight to the rifle because you don't think you need it, then you're just gonna have to uh, order just an M-Lock uh, thing. Another cool thing is this little thing, right? So this is made by Hoptic USA. It's called the Quiver, so it's for um, ghost reloads. Um, normally, you would have to put that on an M-Lock uh, system, so it would be up here. Which they put the M lock far back, which I mean it would have still been pretty cool. But the fact that you don't have to use that and you can use it for your weight tuning, what they did was, and I'll turn the rifle around. Sorry, my dog barking over there. Uh, I'll turn the rifle around. They added these two little holes here that are uh, tapped, so you literally just remove the back of the M lock of the quiver and you just bolt it on straight to that, and that's pretty amazing, guys. So this is gonna be my. Not really budget build, but people always ask me, hey, you know, what's the least expensive way that I can get into PRS? Um, you know, and yeah, you can go cheaper, but this rifle gives you everything you want at the same price point. And mind you guys, I got the 308 and 20 inch. They did have the 6.5 Creedmoor, I believe a 22 or 24. Uh, inch barrel for the same price. So I got this for $4.99 at Dick Sporting Goods. All right, so chuck the chat, uh, chuck the, the plastic stock off and drop it in on this ESS, and I think it looks really good. So, I mean, honestly, guys, do you need a custom build rifle? No, I mean, this will do just fine. Are custom rifles better? Yes, they are. Um, but if you can't afford it, then you can't afford it, right? Some of these rifles are ridiculously expensive. You got just the receivers are a thousand dollars, and you got the barrels another four hundred. That's fourteen hundred bucks just in that, right? So right now in the chassis, if you were to buy this from MDT, the chassis is a thousand dollars. It doesn't come with the grip. The grip's another extra fifty bucks. Let's say a thousand fifty. I'm in it for a thousand fifty in the chassis. Another five hundred. That's um, what was it? Uh, fifteen fifty. And then this scope is six eighty. So I believe I'm around twenty three under twenty three hundred bucks. For this setup as it is of course without the bipod the bipod is another extra 200 bucks so let's say 2700 bucks all right so that said this is pretty much all you need for any prs or any nrl match uh the, the best thing about this is that you can upgrade it later right you can get an upgraded trigger later on you can change the barrel to a higher quality barrel um and this is just a standard remington 7 action which you can get roof in it when you do your barrel change. I mean, this rifle shoots uh, half MOA um, accuracy with match ammo. And with I mean, this is just a factory rifle with a heavy trigger. I'm looking on changing the trigger uh, later on. So guys, this is gonna be the, what I'm calling the PRS budget build. Um, and I'm gonna do a series on this. Uh, we're gonna go test out the accuracy with different ammos and you know, chrono it, see what we're getting and stuff. So guys, this is the ESS, uh, I'm sorry, the ACC chassis. Um, I'll put the link to the description below if you guys are interested. It's really nice, really ergonomic, um, kind of the chassis that I've always wanted. So this is pretty nice. All right, guys, have a good day, and I'll see you at the range.